Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to episode 100 and something of the Speed Sundays podcast. I just started recording to surprise you. Sorry, I was just laughing because I asked you how long the podcast goes for. Yeah. And you said it just goes till I get bored. And I was like, well, what if we get 10 minutes in? And you're like, all right, guys, that's en- the end of the podcast with Radio Mike. Thanks for coming on. That could happen, man. It could happen. But yeah, I'm <laughs> I'm joined by a very special guest, Radio Mike, who's the button pusher and work acquaintance of mine and Luke's on the Luke and Lewis radio and, show. And friends outside of work. Oh, uh, every... Mm, debatable. Oh, well, you're my friend. Oh, thanks, man. That's cool. I appreciate that. No worries. All right, that's the end of the podcast, guys. <laughs> Sorry, we've gotten a bit bored, so we're going to wrap it. Nah, it's all right, man. We are we are friends. Um, cool. Also, this is the first podcast that I've done with a guest where the, the guest has their own microphone, so let me know how it sounds. If it sounds shit, I've got the other mic as a backup. <clears throat> um, but... Yeah, welcome to the podcast, man. How have you been? I've been really well. Uh, it, new year, new me. Mm-hmm. Welcome to a new mic. Do you have any resolutions? I bet you do. I bet you made a big deal out of it. Uh, my resolution is to be kinder to other people. I, th- I would say that's fucking impossible for you. Really? How can you be nicer? I don't, I don't think know, I've I ever just, seen you be mean. I always feel like I'm being mean to everyone. <laughs> and I, that's why I resolve to be nicer in the new year. Um, when have, Okay, when have you been mean to someone? Oh, dude, you don't even want to start on this. I'm sure I've been mean to you, man. When? I don't know. Once. I don't know. Be mean to me right now. Oh, Say you, something mean. You bloody idiot. Look at your shirt. Why don't you wear normal shirts like everyone else? What's wrong with this shirt? It's not. It is normal. It is actually quite normal. Yeah, I can't be mean. Yeah, you, <laughs> can't, say, you can't even think of an actual insult. Yeah. You can be mean. I can say something mean about you. Okay. Your shirt doesn't fit properly. Whoa. It's like... It's not. Now I'm self conscious. It's a little bit too small. Really? Yeah. I've actually. You know what? This is my New Year's resolution: is eat better. No, it's not. It's not to do with you putting on weight or anything. I think you've you've just. Ch- what size is that? I think it's medium. You're a large man. How really? tall are you? What size is it? It's uh, that is a. Yeah, that's a medium, yeah. man. You're a you're an adult male. You're a I, fucking large. I love this shirt. It's a B sharps shirt. It is a good shirt, Simpsons. but if it fit you, pro- like it's too. It's yeah. not. It's you're not fat. It's too short on you. All oh, right. So and when the did sleeves. You, when did you notice this? should be this? here a- immediately. Uh, <laughs> as, as soon as you arrived. Such an idiot. <laughs> and I thought about whether I should wear it or not, and I chose to. I'm glad you wore it, man, yeah. because we get to start off this podcast with me saying something mean. Yeah. Hey, do, do I look at you or the camera? I keep looking at you and then the camera, and I don't uh, really know. It's where a to little look. bit of both. I don't all really right. know either. Hey guys. How hey are guys. You? How you going? <laughs> uh, um. All right. So. What oh is this how the podcast start? Do I just like start talking about stuff? Or well, what do you, you want to talk about? What have you been up to recently? Uh, oh, Keelan, don't use that milk. It's off. Sorry, it's off. Guys, Open a new is, milk. You'll fucking podcast. die we'll if you drink that milk. It's, I bought I bought long milk. life milk, and the oh, thing yeah. I bought anything that's that's unsealed or in the bag Can is I fine. I just ask why is there a DVD of yours in the fridge that I says don't know, do not remove? Fucking Mateo came over to help me post out. Merch. I think. Yeah. Does that one have writing on top of the milk? Sorry, guys. This isn't part of the podcast. We're gonna cut this out. If it has writing, let me give, bring the bring the Sorry, milk over, guys. Keelan. Keelan, get in here. Welcome. All right, guys. We got bored of just us. Here's Welcome to the podcast, Keelan. Keelan's hand. Sorry, Keelan. Yeah, come this over is here. fine. So, when did you decide you wanted to do Lewis's podcast? Uh, just when I was told to bring over the milk. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> the thing with long life milk, man, is I because I'm not here. Every day, right? So I thought, I'll buy a bunch of long life milk so I can use it whenever I need to. But the thing oh, is... Are you talking to me? Yes. I you were talking to Keelan. I mean, Keelan can listen. <laughs> the thing is, with long life Sorry, milk... Man. Yeah. The minute you open it, yeah. it's regular milk. It's not long life anymore. I didn't know uh, that. So if oh, you open the milk, I've got a week to use it. So that milk that Keelan just used, two liters of that, we're going to drink that in a week. Mm. And we won't. Because we just use it for coffee Is and shit. Is Keelan just having milk or coffee? Ah, oh, sorry. Coffee. I thought he just poured a whole glass of milk, which is like what Would you, you do like when you're Would you like your coffee? Fine? Get Keelan to make it for you. Yeah, or a so tea? I've got a tea? latte. Yeah? Yeah. No, we don't have latte. We have instant coffee or tea. Just what like, is this? A just cafe? Like Nescafe. Yeah, Nescafe. Yeah, yeah, I'll have a Nescafe, Keelan. Thanks, man. No, it's not a. No, it's not like a pod. It's Nescafe no, instant like the, frozen. Like a, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. That's yeah, fine. shit. I love that stuff. Thanks, Keelan. I'll have a tea, man. Thanks. All right. 
<laughs> so is that just warm up into the Not, podcast? Now do we like do the proper podcast? The, the proper podcast. You don't understand how shit my podcast is. I've just yelled at my editor about milk for about two minutes <laughs> and that was pretty good for me. Okay. Cool. Well, uh, I haven't been up to much, man. What are your opinions on long life milk? Honestly, I'm a condensed milk fan. You know what? Have you ever had long life milk before? Yeah, I, I it have. It tastes a little bit different. Really? Because I don't know. what I they noticed. do is, is they superheat it and kill everything in the milk and then yeah. they seal it properly. Why do they do it? Oh, so it's long so life. So it's long life, yeah, yeah, fuck yeah, it. What, you <laughs> 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 what do you mean? They boil it for fun. Um, no, I'm not. Like, as far as milk goes, I don't drink it outside of coffee. Mm. I don't have cereal. I don't. I have. Know, I have a, a bit of milk with protein shakes. I have yeah. about. I've actually. I have a liter of milk a day. Probably oh one point five. No, you don't. Wait. Oh, do you actually with with a protein shake? So I'll have two protein shakes a day. Each one is five hundred mil. So that's a liter. Yeah. And then if I I have the big coffee, so I might maybe I have like one point two, one point three mils of milk a day. Dude, that's excessive. Yeah. Why do you do that? But, but you're not even muscular. I, I'm, I, dude. I've put on fucking seven kilos this year. You thank can't you. Can't tell. No, because I'm too fucking long. I need to put on twenty Can for I anyone feel to notice. Your, your bicep. Feel my bicep. Oh, what? It's actually quite like muscular. See, I'm getting dude, fucking. Feel mine. I've got jacked. nothing. I'm not even gonna do it in the in the video. It's nothing. Flex. I am. That's me flexing like no, a. No, you're not. Do your I'm, other arm. No, I'm left-handed. This one will be worse. Oh. Okay. Well, you felt my left hand. Feel my right arm. Oh, my God. Oh, I love that. I'm jacked, dude. He's jacked. You know, um, I, I accidentally... Oh, I had the craziest time at the gym the other day. Yeah. That sounds like the start of the shittest sentence story ever. Yeah. But, so I was doing deadlifts. You know what deadlifts are? Yeah, I've tried to do them, but the, the manager of the gym was like, all right, keep practicing. We're not going to get there today. <laughs> 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 I need to take you to the gym, man. I need to teach you how to deadlift. Were you just doing them wrong? You couldn't... I asked him to teach me and he was there for like 10 minutes. He's like, yeah, you, we're not going to get it today. It takes. It does take a long time. They are hard to do properly. I'll teach you one day. We'll go oh. to the gym and I'll teach you how to deadlift properly. Thanks, man. Because I used to be a personal trainer, which yeah, everyone laughs so at me before. weird. It is weird. So weird. It's a strange period of my life where for... It was like a year and a half. See, you've had so many jobs. Like, yeah. I just like... You went, know why? Yeah. Because I'm a fucking awful employee. Right. So you just kept leaving or getting fired and stuff. Yeah. See, I'm like the opposite of you. I went to uni and had a like a stable part-time job the entire time. Yeah. And I didn't get fired because I was like fucking pretty reliable. Fucking didn't get and, fired. What a loser. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been fired from a job. Really? Yeah. How? Who would fire oh, me? Actually... I've only been fired from a couple jobs. I normally walk out was my oh, was right. my go-to. Yeah, yeah. One day I'd have enough and I'd walk out. Yeah. It's the best feeling ever. Yeah. Walking out, not telling them. So See, good. I couldn't do Feel that. Like I'm, a free I'm man. too nice to do that. I cried when I quit my job to start radio. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean you cried? I've been working there for like four years and I was upset because I didn't want to hurt their feelings what, what by What was quitting. your job? I worked at in a in a bottle shop for like four years. At your bottle shop, you and cried. Just, well, nearly. I was like, guys, I'm so sorry, but I got a job in radio and I have to leave. And like, this is my dream. And they were like, oh, that's fine. And I was like, I but, don't know, but I've worked <laughs> here yeah, for like they four didn't years. Give a fuck. <laughs> of course, but you were crying. <laughs> yeah, I was so. I just didn't want to hurt their feelings by leaving. Why would that hurt their feelings? I it's don't a know. bottle shop. They know it's not a good job. No, it's a. It is a good job. It was a great job, but like. Like so much like rampant theft in that job, man. From employees from me, or from, from other people. There was this one guy that worked there for like a month, and he was like, every shift he'd pocket a fifty dollar note, and they were and then. Oh like, really? That's that's a lot of money. Yeah, they caught him out on it, and then called the police on him. Oh while really? He was working, and they like as while he him was out of working. Store. Yeah, he was like younger than me, so he was like nineteen at the time. That's crazy. But anyway, your gym story, man. Sorry. That was way more interesting than what oh. I'm about to say. Oh, cool. Man. Um, so good. I was doing deadlifts today, uh, two days ago, right? Mm -hmm. um, and I've started lifting a lot heavier. Yeah. So <laughs> uh, Mike's just waving at the camera like a fuckhead. Oh, he's killing hey, with the, the tea and the coffee. Why is this? What do you mean you don't know how to make tea? You put the how tea bag not? in and you hey. fill it with water. How do you not know how to make tea? What do you mean? You've never made tea. Sorry, Killen, is there any sugar? Who the fuck has never made tea? No, I actually don't have sugar. Oh, okay, yeah, that's right. Because there's, cause there's ants, because this place is not like. Yeah, right. And that is a massive coffee, mm. isn't it? Huge. It's a jumbo. Well, I'm going to sip my tea. Oh, fuck. Um, all right. 
Oh yeah, this deadlift story. I'm sure the fans hey, are Gillen, desperate to hear it. You've nailed it. Well done. He was so relieved. Way too relieved. <laughs> um. So, I'm I'm doing can deadlift. So can I just ask: Is the podcast going well so far? Like, is this like good? I'm, or, can you relax? You can't? Right, okay, cool guys. All right, guys. It was going well. Now it got weird. <laughs> Deadly. Like, how am I? You want your performance <laughs> review midway through? It's not even midway through. We've only been doing it for 15 minutes. And you're oh, like, how are we going, this guys? Is 15 minutes already. Yes. You've barely spoken about anything. I know. Nice. That's my podcast. You're like, I'm what? A- sorry for the people listening. No, guys, keep listening. Before it we start the podcast, Mike's like, what are we going to talk about? I said, I don't know. I'll just turn it on and we'll go. And I turned it on while you were mid sentence, and here we are. You're like, how am I, go- how am I doing? <laughs> hey, it sucks. That's the podcast. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Deadlift story. Go yeah, on. okay. Right, so, doing deadlifts. I was doing deadlifts. I'm never going to finish this story. It's going to take me fucking three hours to finish. I was doing deadlifts, right? And I accidentally lifted heavier than I ever have before because I forgot to count the bar. Yeah. The bar at, at my gym is 20 the kilos. Bar. The, the bar. The bar of the deadlift. Oh, with the weights on it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. What do you mean? You don't know what a bar is? I mean... What do you think I was talking about? Uh, like, I thought... Like, because there's lots of equipment... Yeah. All of which could be rese- like could resemble a bar, like like a bar of metal, right? I don't know. I don't. I just go to the gym. I run on the treadmill for like five. Dude, minutes I need then- to take you to the gym and teach you what to do. You don't know what you're doing, do you? Can I actually tell you a funny story <laughs> when I was at the gym? <laughs> You've got. So- I bet. So- I bet you're the fucking <laughs> idiot that ends up on like a really popular gym meme page because he's <laughs> yeah, just like, doing I- shit I wrong. So this story, like. This story made me not go to the gym for a month. Because, like, <laughs> so I don't like I don't know what to do. So I just was on the treadmill for like five minutes, and then there's like this one that I like doing because it makes me feel really strong, and it's right in front of the mirror, and I'm like I'm like oh look at your muscles, you're looking mighty fine, Mister, you're looking fantastic. Do you right? say this? Or no, just I in think your head? it. I think it. Yeah. And like it's the one where like you kind of like, have you, you ever the... look? Have you ever gone with like a list of exercises no, I'm no, going to no, do? No, you I just go just, and I just you vibe sort of walk it. Walk around, yeah. Can you hold the mic to my mouth? It's the one where you kind of do this and you move the weights inward. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. That's yeah, the yeah. um. Wait, is this is it with cables or was it? Was with, it... Yeah, with cables. With yeah. cables. Cables with the weights and you. Yeah. Can move, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I was doing it and like. That I is was, a good exercise. That I, makes you feel like a fucking Olympic. Yeah, Olympian. But I was doing it like way heavier than I usually do. I'm like, why is this so easy? And, like, then the manager like came over to me and like every time I was doing it, the weights were just dropping and the manager was like, yeah, like. If the weights are just dropping and they're slamming against the other weights, you're not actually doing the exercise. You're just dropping the weight. Were you, so you fucking <laughs> swinging on it? Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, yeah, so you, you've got to kind of like actually like pull the weight down as well. And then I was like, oh, I am so sorry. And he's like, yeah. And if you keep doing it like that, you're just going to damage the weights. And then, yeah, and I was like, oh my God. And then I just left in embarrassment and shame and didn't come back for a month. And then I specifically started going in times where he wasn't there. (laughs) Your life is so fucking weird. (laughs) Why? Why don't you just ask someone for help? You're so in your own head. You just fucking, oh, I'm just going to go to the gym and vibe it and swing on the weights like it's it's the monkey bars. (laughs) And then a manager comes over For your own safety, he's not doing it to protect the weights. He's going, oh, this guy's going to really hurt himself. Yeah. And then you're like, oh, no, I can't go back for a month. And you change your entire schedule of your own life so you don't bump into that guy who was only trying to help. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) There's, like, other things where, like, I'll leave my water bottle at, like, the treadmill yeah, and go it. do something else accident. Like, I'll accidentally leave it there. Oh, right? you and accidentally... Then someone okay. else is on that treadmill. Yeah. And I'll be like, oh, now I have to wait for them to finish before getting my water bottle. And I'll wait no, like 15 don't. minutes. Yeah, I so do. So you sit there for 15 minutes. Yeah, I'm like, oh, when is this over? Do you when- finish anything? What do you mean? Finish anything? How do you finish anything if you have to spend 15 <laughs> minutes at the fucking gym because you can't approach someone on the treadmill because you left your <laughs> water bottle there, even though they don't want it there? And they'd be like, yeah. oh, good. Dude. I don't know. I over, I think about stuff so much. It's I know. Excessive and like, and I do. I change my whole schedule to be like, oh, I don't want to go 
I don't want to leave work yet because I know if I leave work, I'll have to walk past like this specific person and I just can't be bothered at this point in time. So I'll just stay at work for another hour and do nothing and walk around the hall. So you're never actually busy. You're just always <laughs> wasting your own life. And avoiding stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I talk to you, I'm like, hey, what have you been? He goes, man, being so busy. I'm like, oh, really? What are you doing? And you have nothing to tell me. So, sometimes, like, if what I... What did you do this week? Uh, I went to the beach with Luke and James, and yeah. you were invited and you didn't come. Yeah, because I was working with Keelan. <laughs> and it was great. Because Keelan doesn't have his own fucking keys yet, because I'm trying to get keys for Keelan so that he can work, keys, and then I can... Keys for Keelan. And that I can slack like a... off and do fucking nothing. Yeah. Uh, a good name. Like, go, do important things like go to the beach uh, and can hey, I Keelan, tell you the edit beach this story? while I go to the beach. Oh, so wait, Keelan can only be here if you're here. Yes, oh, it sucks. Dude, that's so stupid. That's like redundancies in your business. What a waste. Well, yeah, because sometimes I got Keelan because I want to write while I edit, yeah. while he edits, but sometimes I don't have anything to do, and but I have to come in here and fucking sit and. Yeah. I'm sorry, I, one sec. Keelan, can you take this spoon in my coffee, please? I don't need that. Um, sorry, man. What were you saying? That is a weird choice. Why did you give him a spoon, <laughs> man? Thanks, Keelan. Um, can I tell you this beach story? I went to the beach with my mate, Tom, like yeah. a few weeks ago. And like, I'm really bad at like applying sunscreen. <clears throat> yeah. I, I, don't, I think a lot of people suck at it. Yeah. So I kind of like, I have this scar on my back. Hey, like, Keelan, can you come and get my spoon as well? <laughs> I don't need a spoon. Why did you give everyone a spoon, dude? I just threw up a bit in my mouth. <laughs> I'm laughing. Sorry. Um, <coughs> yuck. Um, I have this scar on my back that's like slightly cancerous. Like if it gets burnt, it's bad, right? You don't want it to get burnt. So it's tissue. almost cancer. Like, I mean, if scar tissue gets burnt, it's more vulnerable to like skin disease and that kind of thing, right? <clears throat> Why do you have something that's a little bit cancerous? <laughs> No, but it's at a great... Sorry, man, I'm out of the camera. I can no, see you readjusting right. it. That's right, it's my it's, fault. It's of greater risk of getting... Anyway, this is irrelevant. I just like <laughs> to make sure it's covered in sunscreen, right? Yeah. So, when I have, whenever I sunscreen my back... I Dude, just if I had something that could give me cancer, I wouldn't take my fucking shirt off. Nah, nah, because that's lame. So, I just kind of slap my back, rub the scar with it, and then do, like, the bottom of my back, and then just mist... And then you just get like, like a tribal tattoo of sunburn pretty much. everywhere and, else. And Luke was like, do you have like skin grafting? Like you look like you've had like severe burns on your back. I'm like, oh no, I just missed some places with sunscreen. Anyway, I thought that was funnier than you. Wait, so show me your back. I'm oh, not on camera, man. I won't, they won't All see right. it. Hang on. I think it's kind of cleared up now. But yeah. What the fuck, bro? <laughs> you look like a burns victim. <laughs> Wait, actually. What's this? That's my scar. That's the scar I mentioned. Oh, that's the scar. Dude, check what? get that checked, man. You've got cancer. No, don't Wait, is does it look bad? Seriously. Yes. What? Wait, actually? <coughs> Seriously. Wait, it looks like I don't know. It looks like it looks like you've got a burn. Is Keelan, that normal? Killin, come here. What's does it what's it look like? He said it looks like a burn. Really? Looks like you've had an accident in the kitchen when you were like 6. Anyway, it's, How did that happen? The scar. Yeah. Oh, it's not as cool as it sounds. Should I tell it? I never thought. I never said. Uh, never said uh, it was going to be cool. So when I was born, it's actually actually it is a really cool <clears throat> story. Now that I think about it, this is a, this is a great. Okay, if you ever wanted to know more about Mike, I'm never going to tell my dead story. story. This is. Has it only been 18 minutes? I feel like 10 minutes ago you said it's been 15 minutes. Anyway, stop so looking at the time. The scar story. The scar story. I, when I was born, I had mm. this like mole on my back, like this big, right? Hairy, gross mole. And what, that big? Yeah, this hairy, gross mole. That's like a fucking bouncy ball size. Yeah, like a bouncy ball size mole. Yeah. And like the doctor was like, oh, those, because it's so big, it can be really cancerous yeah. if it gets in the sun. So when he's about 10 years old, get it removed, yeah. like cosmetic surgery. So when I was 10, we went to this surgeon and got cosmetic surgery and got it removed. Did they all do? Did they do something to your face, or is that just? Anyway, that wasn't <laughs> funny at all. Um, <laughs> um, and then no, but this is the freaky part. So yeah, the, it was supposed to be a line scar, like the diameter of the mole, right? Just yeah, a line. right. So they they just cut in a line and then stitch scoop it, it all out. Yeah, stitch it up. And yeah. then what happened was it got infected. Oh no! Right, and then the line. Oh, that's what it looks like. Your back looks like my dad's ass. 
because he got he got a sore on his ass and it got infected because a he saw. Oh right, you're being serious. I thought yeah. you just was comparing my back to an ass. No, no, my dad. I remember when I was young, he got. He's a builder, so something happened to his ass, or he's like a secret closet gay, right? <laughs> One of his ass cheeks, and it got really infected. And my dad's like such a like a man mm-hmm. where he just doesn't go to the doctor. No, Something's that's fucked, and he doesn't go. And yeah. then he left this thing on his <laughs> ass for like fucking like months. And I I was ten, and I was like, Dad's fucked. Yeah, uh, on and his then, asshole. <laughs> No, on his, on his bum butt. cheek. I yeah. think he cut. He got it. He got cut while he was at work because yeah. he's a builder or something. Yeah. And uh, and now he just has that on his but on his ass. So that's fucked. Yeah. But, but what happened was the scar opened up, and then I just had a hole in my back this size, right? Cool. Yeah, that's that's what happened, Dad. And we went to the GP, and he shined a torch in my back, and he's like, "I can see your spine." Oh, this is fucked. that's cool. <laughs> and I was terrified because I was a kid. <laughs> And if, and I That's co- like that fucking crocodile shit. What's crocodile? It's like some Russian drug or something right. where it rots your flesh and then you, there's all oh, these zombies walking around. Oh, right. But yeah, it was weird. And I couldn't have a shower for weeks because if I had a shower, the water would literally like fill Go up in my body. Sp- <laughs> so it was so weird. And I was 10. Anyway, unresolved trauma. <laughs> I'm all good now. Now the scar's a constant reminder of the time I had a hole in my back. But yeah. yeah. How did we get to this? Just tell your bodybuilding story, man. You were doing... No, not your bodybuilding. Your deadlifting story. I've never been a bodybuilder. <laughs> I thought for a minute that maybe I could do that. Do your deadlifting story. It's only, you know, okay. I'm, I'm keen to hear it. So, uh, what happened was I was at the gym and I was deadlifting and I and I thought I was doing... I was, I've just been kind of getting back into it after the break on Christmas and I thought I was doing 60 kilos... I thought I was doing 70. Turns out I was doing 80, which is my max for the yeah. moment. My all-time best is actually 100, which is fucking heaps. That was when I was like properly into it. Yeah. But I was doing 80 uh, and I, I did it and I did I do eight reps, which is a lot for deadlifts. You should only really do like four or five for deadlifts because it's such a heavy compound exercise. Yeah, no, yeah. you don't. You don't know what to talk about. <laughs> so I did eight, right? What I thought was not my best. <clears throat> I was like, fuck, this is really hard. Maybe I'm, I'm definitely out of shape. Turns out I'm in pretty good shape. And anyway, I finished the exercise and um, I couldn't extend my fingers. They were stuck they in were the like, same position oh, that weird. they were wrapped around the bar. And I was like, all right, on to the next exercise. I couldn't move my fingers. I was like a fucking Lego man. Dude, that happens though. Yeah. And then if you try to open them, like it feels like they're like... They were locked. Yeah. I couldn't. And it's never... Ha- it happens to me a little bit when I deadlift, but it's never been like locked, locked. Yeah. And I was like, oh no... For a minute, I couldn't extend my fingers. I'm like, shit, I'm going to just have to give people hand jobs. That's going to have to be my <laughs> life. I'm going to have to be like a fucking Lego man giving out hand jobs. I'm stuck. I'm going to have to be like those fucking monkeys in a barrel just oh, doing this. I was, I was like, this is my life now. I can't extend my fingers. I'll never finger my girlfriend ever again. I won't be able to wear rings because I can't get them on. I'm not going to wear gloves. You could get a ring on. You reckon? Sort of like, yeah. Maybe I could get a ring on, but definitely not gloves. Yeah. That'd be a bitch. Gloves, couldn't yeah. get gloves on. Yeah. And then if I got them on, I couldn't get them off. Yeah. So I was thought I was just going to be stuck. And then I ended up having, I ended up having to get my other, my other hand and like slowly push them open. That's so weird. And it was, and then I, then I got to like this and I was like, oh, this is workable. I look like a guy with a prosthetic hand. <laughs> I can shake someone's hand awkwardly. This is a little <laughs> bit better. I can, pro- I can maybe fist my How girlfriend. How long were they- <laughs> But I couldn't finger her, you know? And I don't think she'd be into that. How long were they stuck like this for? Now they were, then they were stuck like this for another minute. And then eventually I got them out and then they were fine. I did some more deadlifts. Dude, I'm so glad you told that. I'm so glad we waited. Yeah. The whole bloody it was worth, worth the wait. Hey. To hear that. That's so interesting. Mm. Yeah. I don't have any deadlift stories like that. But no, you yeah. just have deadlift stories. You know, you're you're gonna one day you're gonna come into work a deadlift story about how you got a hernia. What's a hernia? It's when you put your back out really bad. Oh, I did that at work back at the bottle shop because I was lifting slabs of beer so like irresponsibly. Yeah. My and I I don't know if I got a hernia, but mm. <clears throat> I like slipped a disc. <clears throat> had to go to the doctor. Got a day off work. You didn't slip a disc. Isn't that just a phrase people use to say? No, that's like, that's a ser- that's <laughs> like if you slip a disc, that's like your spine going like that. I thought that was just a phrase people said when they. No, that's a phrase that that 
that sixty year old men say when they slip a disc. Oh, I didn't slip a disc. And then they they're, they're no, pretty much permanently no, 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 no. injured. I strained a muscle. That's what the doctor said. Yeah, yeah. that's fine. Sorry, Straining yeah. a muscle is fine. Slipping a disc is your bone moves. Yeah. No, I, that was silly. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, man. I didn't know that. I didn't know. Um, we need to go to the gym together, and I'm I want, I'm gonna need to teach you how to do it. Okay. Properly. Yeah. Next week. Oh, but can I go I'm to your busy gym? Though, man. No, you're uh, not. You're just fucking walking around avoiding cunts <laughs> that you don't want to talk to. Like, oh, I accidentally made eye contact with that girl and I'd never want to see her again. <laughs> what? I've never done that. I bet you, I bet though, I bet one time you've ag- you've accidentally looked at a woman's tits, she caught you and then you can't talk to her again. Uh, I've never done that and no comment. But anyway, moving you on. You fucking have. No, I haven't. What the hell? You've anyway, ne- you've never looked at a woman's tits. <laughs> you've never seen boobs. Is that what you're telling me? I'm moving on from this. I'm moving you've forward. You've never seen breasts. <laughs> See, now you're stuck in a rock and a hard place because either you need to admit on the Spear and Sunny's podcast that you're a virgin, or that you find women sexually attractive. And I know both of those things very hard to admit. Either way, which one? Which one are you going to go? I'm progressing forward from this conversation uh, to talk about... Uh, Why don't we tell one of your Tinder stories? No, nah, that's all right. Really? Because I can think of eight that would be bangers. Oh, I can tell you one that was interesting. Mike has had sex before. I've heard stories. <laughs> Thanks. That's all right. Thanks, guys. Uh, How many th- girls have you had sex with? No. I've been trying to get no. this out of Mike for so long. No. Literally for about six to eight months, me and Luke wrote our numbers on the board and kept trying to get him to write it. Which, by the way, probably a very HR offence. Yeah, it is HRable. Yeah. A, is Keelan in HR at your warehouse? I'm pretty sure that the way that, that, that Keelan is hired and it's illegal. I don't know. I think, I don't know, Keelan's like a... How do you pay Keelan? He invoices me. Ah, oh, that's not illegal. Does he have an ABN? Yeah. Yeah, that's not illegal at all, man. Oh, okay. He's saying he doesn't pay tax. No, but you you don't pay tax until you make a certain amount. If you don't pay tax, that's not my problem. That's your problem. You need to sort that out. That's your... I'm not telling you how to pay your tax. That's not my issue. If you don't pay tax, what do you think is going to happen? I go to jail? No, that's you, (laughs) cunt. (laughs) You're trying to get me in trouble. He's like, oh, well, I don't pay tax. Like, cool, bro. I'll go on the run. Um... What are we? What else are we talking about? How many girls you've had sex with? No, we're not talking about. Is that. it more than five? I have no comments to make on Is the subject. Is it less than twenty? No comments to make on the uh, subject. You know what? I reckon. I think it's high. It's, it's not. I reckon it's more than me and Luke. It's not. Anyway, I've I think no mine's comments. eight. Nice. Because I went nuts before I met Jazz and then settled yeah, down. Yeah, right. When was this? Uh, I only had like about a year. When I started fucking before I met Jazz. But I told you the story about how I almost had a threesome. No, that's interesting. Go. It's a banger story. And yeah. it's it's also one of the saddest stories you'll ever hear. How come? Because it I didn't... I almost had the threesome. Oh, is this about those... I think you told me this. Didn't like two... I tell everyone this story. Two people from like Queensland say, do you want to have a threesome? And you said, maybe... And then it didn't happen? No. Oh, what is it then? When, 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 that's never happened. You told me that. Obviously, you were I've lying. had the opportunity twice, okay? The second time I was in a relationship, so it didn't happen. So, <clears throat> first time, I was single. And this is when when the the internet thing was just starting to happen. I was just starting oh, to like get a name for face myself. Beef and nebs and... Oh, a little like... bit after that. A little oh, bit after okay, that. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. I was starting to become my own thing, right? Yeah. And this, uh, this chick messaged me... And uh, she was like, me and my friend want to have sex with you. <laughs> yeah, and I this was... is what you told me from Queensland. This is no! The... Oh. Sorry, and man. I was like, fuck yeah, it's happening. Uh, so what happened was we, we organized it. And here's the sad bit. I was playing it cool. Too cool. I just worked out if you, wanna, if you want girls interested, you have to play it cool. But I, w- but I went too far down the line. Too cool. What did you do? So Just they were messaging them. me. I was, in, I was in high school, right? They were, mes- they were messaging me, sending me photos and shit of them together. And they were like, come over. This is on a fucking Thursday night. And I was like, hey, girls. I'm playing it too cool. I was like, hey, girls. I've got school tomorrow. I'm not coming <laughs> over tonight. Idiot! <laughs> fucking idiot! Although it would have taken me... 
<laughs> two hours on the train to Where get there. Where were they from? Like Geelong or something? I don't know. It was some weird suburb I've never heard of and never have heard since, right? Okay. So maybe they're imaginary. I don't know. It could be a figment <laughs> of my fucking imagination. Narnia. Uh, so there was, and I played it too cool. I was like, no, no, we'll do it on, on this on this date. And, uh, and they were like, okay, fine, whatever, right? I should have gone. I, I hate myself forever. I'll never get over it because that's my only opportunity. Gone, right? But anyway, so I ended up going over to the girl's place and uh, both the girls were there. And I was like, right, we're fucking on here. And, and there was the main girl who set it up and then her friend. And then I'm like, I get there, her and her friend, bedroom, all good. And I'm like, it's going to happen. And then the friend was like, I'm really sorry. But I've just met someone that I really like. Oh, that's so good for her. We're not dating at the moment, but, but she I, I want to ruin but it. I don't want to ruin it. So I'm really sorry. Yeah. But you're you could you'll just have to have sex with my friend instead. And I was like, damn, what an awful ending. I know. I was like, <laughs> bummer, right? So anyway, we ended up doing it. And this is the fucking weirdest thing. So, oh, are you not a virgin? I thought you were. No, I've I said before. I think I've had sex with eight girls. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, the the main girl that set it up was staying with her friend, right? Yeah. And she was staying with her friend in what I can. Only, so there's the bedroom, right? And then there was like a little ladder that went up to this other separate room. Have you seen the first movie of Harry Potter? Yeah. How he lives under the stairs. Yeah. That's what the room was. Like that size. That size. Yeah. And have you seen how big I am? Yes. Didn't fit, right? Like vertically? It was, <clears throat> it was enough space for a single mattress and for me to kneel right. and stoop my head. That's how small it was. So was it a good experience or not? Bro, we fucked for six hours. Wow. It was weird. Yeah, right. Interesting. Uh, and did you ever see her again? And the dude who the other girl had fallen for, he came over and they were having sex at the same time in the other room. Yeah. In the bed. Yeah. Anyway, finish all good. Uh, come out. Thank them both. Have a lovely <laughs> night. <laughs> hey, mate. Nice to meet you. See you later. Uh, left. And uh, then I found out that the guy that the other girl had fallen for. Uh, actually had a girlfriend, oh. had given the girl a fake name. No. And uh, just full on fucked my threesome. That's awful. For no That's reason. That's awful that he gave the girl a fake name. That's yeah. not very nice. Isn't That's that? Very not very yeah. nice. He ruined two girls' day and he ruined he ruined <laughs> my life. I'll never forgive that man. Whatever. Life. He ruined my life, dude. <laughs> that was the only opportunity I'll ever have. And he ruined it because he was selfish. He wasn't selfish. Well, yeah, he was selfish, man. He was the uh, the bad. Guy Whoever in the that story. guy's name, I don't know. I don't know. I only really know his fake name. I would love to have a sit down and just talk for him for three hours Do you about how he's ruined my life. Recognize him if you saw him on the street. Mm, it was that long ago. Was it, wh how old were you? I was eighteen. Was he eighteen? No, he was like twenty something. Right. But the girls were eighteen. So yeah, it was like stay in your lane, dude. Ruined it. I would never do that. That's He's going to have bad karma forever. He'll probably yeah. go to hell for that. Yeah, probably. God will be believe like... in hell. Hell's real, but only for him. Because <laughs> you ruined you, my life. Do you believe in hell? I don't know what I believe in. You know what? I used to work... When I was at, worked at a butcher, I worked for like Coptic Christians, which are like an Egyptian Whoa, that's so, yeah, type of yeah, yeah. Christianity. <clears throat> and they, they, they were like refugees as well. They came over from Egypt because the Coptic Christians, like they fucking Coptic it. They cop it so bad from all the all the all the Muslims yeah, right. and stuff. Like they get. He told me this one story about how his church that they, that they go go to got burnt down three weeks in a row. They burn it they down. It they rebuilt up? it. They burn it down. In they rebuilt it. They burn it down. Dude, that sucks. Crazy. I think that. Uh, I think religion's evil. Your thoughts. Do we ever touch base on this I mean, in, in your podcast? Is it a philosophical podcast? Or? Not really. I don't know. I've, I'm in two minds about it. I'm, I think that... I think that ultimately it ha it is a force for good. But I do think... I do. You know what I think? I think the bigger and more organized it gets, mm. the more 
harm it can cause. Yeah, like right. all like the Catholic Church with how powerful it is, yeah. is is fucked how they've like protected all the pedophiles and moved them around. I think that's so fucked. Crazy. But I but I've also I went to I went to a church, a youth church when I was younger that was very small and not too connected to the other other stuff and that was lovely and they did some genuinely good stuff and I've heard a lot of good things about what what you know Jewish churches do. I don't know. I think I think the bigger it gets the more propensity for evil it can become. Mm. S- small small churches and communities are really good things. Yeah, I agree. I but that, I don't but it's I don't know if you can have one without the other. Yeah. And I think that I just like I was Catholic, I was raised Catholic mm. and I went through the Catholic education system and like I find that like I look at like my education and see it almost as bad as brainwashing. Mm. Like like, because the shit that they, like... Well, I've never you... gone through any of that shit. Yeah, so, right. my experience with re- with religion was very voluntary. Yeah. Where I was, I was 16 and I was trying to work out what's going on in the yeah. world. And so, I decided to go to church and I did that for a few months. And then, right. I, and then I stopped. I kind of stopped going. <clears throat> uh, but then I always had this little spiritual in my head. So, mine's... Yeah. Because my parents were like... They never... They, did, they chose not to raise me religious or atheist. They chose to show me, hey, look at all the things that are out there, mm. go your own way. Yeah. See, I, yeah, like I was, <clears throat> I was, it, it was all like dogmatic Catholic yeah. faith in, in my upbringing. And um, I think that like at, at the core of it, like all religion want, like preaches the same message, message, which is the golden rule, which is like do unto others how, yeah. how you would want to be treated. But I think that religious people, like that I've known tend to be but a lot of guys are going around being like you know what I would love to be fucked as a child so I reckon I'm going to do that <laughs> to a bunch of kids yeah and then uh, and then get busted but instead of going to jail the church just moves, moves me, me along. and fuck yeah. a bunch of other kids but like the I reckon religious people are the most of, like are the people who least treat other people the way they would want to be treated like mm. they they ostracize and like criticize everyone who uh, yeah, isn't I think there's like a lot them of that. like race sexuality yeah. Like but I think that's that like stuff. that's like with almost any belief system. Like you're yeah. seeing that with fucking politics on Twitter now. Oh, yeah. Like uh, like yeah. right wing people are like fucking lefties, social justice warriors, and yeah. then left wing people are like, oh fucking conservative, alt right racist. Oh, totally. It, like it's almost like I feel like humans need a belief system, and it used to be religion that everyone had, yeah, but right. now it's it's turning into politics or or gender identity or or even fitness for some people yeah is like i'm for, for, i mean for you know for me i think it's fucking comedy now right. that's but what i believe in and that's how i live my life don't you think with the internet now because you can like select like everything you consume like yeah pe- people are like if someone disagrees with you people just like they, there's no room for debate like people yeah. will just be like nah by blocked yeah f- like fuck off i'm not talking to you like yeah. anyone who remotely has a different opinion you don't even hear them out mm. i feel like that's problematic because like oh definitely pe- people is. don't ev- aren't even open to hearing any other perspective yeah and and like people just yeah it, it it's weird I don't know. It is weird. Man, I, what I really like is back to my my old boss, the Coptic Christian guy. Mm. What I so I think my view on it, I think that there's that there's definitely a creator because I don't think that this could have happened. But I asked him like I asked him a lot of questions about faith, and I was like, so do you guys have heaven? And he's like, what's heaven for you? And he and he was like, heaven for us is you need to understand that. As mortals and as humans, we cannot even begin to comprehend God. Because if we could, we would be God. If we could understand that, he he wouldn't be God. Yeah, right. You know? So heaven for us is we don't we're not us anymore. We we we're a spirit and we don't even we can't comprehend what a spirit is. So like heaven isn't like a nice place where humans go and there's free food and awesome music and, and all of the things that humans like. You become part of of God or, or whatever it is. And I think that that's, I really like that idea of, I, th- I think there's a creator, but I don't, you can't prove it because if you could prove it, it's not God, you know? Yeah. I mean, I, it's not something that, that can be comprehended. So I think that, that, that religions have it right in the sense of 
oh, I think there's some power out there, but I don't... To Like, the Bible was written by men. The yeah. Bible says that. You yeah. know, there's a lot of stories written by men. You know, one of them's... The, each, chap, each chapter has a, has a name of the dude who wrote it. Yeah. And they're just... I, I think that I think that to to claim to comprehend God, if there is one, it's not possible. Because if there is one, you couldn't understand it. Because if you could, we could just start creating universes and shit. You know? Yeah, yeah. I I I think that like, um, when I think about like it from my upbringing, it's like God is used as like a like a threat to children. Yeah. Like, and, and I think that's the problem. Like, mm. oh, you know, like the, at, at the crux of Christianity is like, if you follow these rules, you'll go to heaven. And if you don't, you'll go to hell. And like yeah. literally like telling a kid, like, Hey, if you don't do this, you're going to go to hell. Like, like damning a child to like eternal yeah. burning and suffering is like, yeah. is insane. Well, it's, it's not barbaric. a just thing. Yeah. yeah. It's not and, a just thing. And I think that that's like, I think that... And also, I think that God is so... F- if God's real, he's so fucking powerful and omnipotent, he doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, exactly. Why would he give a fuck of, oh, shit, I wore I wore two pieces of fabric and mixed them together. Mm. Fuck, I'm going to yeah. burn for all eternity? Yeah. Uh, like, I don't know, God... Like, uh, like, I don't know if it's God or, like, a creator or whatever, and there very well might be, but I don't know. I like to live my life on the premise that there's not going to be... Uh, a, a judgment when I die that's going to m- determine my Wow, afterlife. you're already giving yourself a judgment every five minutes. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm my own God. That's how I live my bloody life. <laughs> so... God, God Mike. Hashtag God Mike. Mike, tell yes. me about this f- fuck... Why are you on this podcast? Uh, that's a great question, man. Uh, first of all, I want to promote some shit. Yeah. Second of all... I uh, well, actually, that's kind of it. Oh, but I like talking to you, man. This has been interesting. It's been has funny. Been it's fun. been interesting. It has it's been, been fun. great. Yeah, you looked at the time. Do we need to wrap up? No, uh, I'm just saying. Forty minutes. Jim will do some questions after this, but I right, want to yeah, yeah. get make sure you get to plug your shit. So I got to tell my gym story finally. Yeah, finally. Bloody hell! How good was that, guys? So it was glad good. We got that. The Le- I feel like the Lego Man was pretty funny. That Lego was Man the, hand no, jobs. The best was the monkey. Things yeah. because that was so obscure, really obscure. And I was like, Oh, what's this monkey? Oh, those things, barrel of monkeys. Barrel monkeys. Oh. Huh? Remember Toy Story? Yeah, that's what I thought. I was gonna bring it up and then do a Toy Story detour, but I thought I'd let you kind of have your thing because it's your podcast, <laughs> anyway. Um, I've got a new podcast. Mm-hmm. It's, I think, when this comes out, when this I'll make podcast, sure that Mike's podcast is up now when yeah, this, when this now. goes out. It's called, so you might see it in fucking 2025. Yeah. What? Wait, why? <laughs> oh, because this. Wait, what? Because you just. You've been talking about this for fucking years. Six months, yeah. All right. It's called 20th Century Boy, which is 20th Century Boy. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's it about? Great Isn't question. Is it the Lewis. 21st century, though? Yeah, but. So. A lot of Are you a thousand that, years old? <laughs> no, but I was born... Bro, in, Mike's a thousand years old! But I was born in 1994. That's which the 20th century. 20th century. Oh, okay. That's the 20th century. That's what I it thought is, you were right? a thousand years old! But so, you're just... Okay. So what's the podcast about, Mike? I'm glad you asked, Lewis. Thanks, man. I'll answer that question for you right now. The answer to the question is that... The <laughs> just hey, wait. guys. Lewis just left. This is Spearhead Sundays with Mike... Uh, I'm, I'm filling in back. on the... Oh, sorry, coming man. Back. I thought I was doing the podcast from no. now on. But um, it's about... Uh, so, basically, I realised after a big uh, spiritual journey that... You take ayahuasca or something? What's ayahuasca? Uh, it's something that all the fucking hippies go. They, oh, they right. drink a big bowl of juice and then they hallucinate for fucking 30 hours. No, but I realised that, like, for a lot of my life, I've had all these like really geeky and nerdy interests right yeah like i lo- like i love like super smash bros pokemon yep. like blink 182 i don't know like w- whether you consider them geeky or not is subjective but i feel like the environment i was in as a as growing up like those weren't the cool things to like at school no. right and like the jocks would be like oh like why would you listen to like blink 182 why would you play why would you listen to one of the most popular bands at the time yeah and I, because of that, for, like, my early adult life, like, I'm 24 now, but for a lot of my adult life before that, I've always, like, doubted my interests. And then, like, kind of through meeting you and Luke and a few other people, I realized that those things about me 
are actually like some of the best parts about me. So you met a you met a fucking freak who paints toy soldiers, and you're like, oh shit, I'm not that bad. Yeah, pretty much. But like, yeah. So I'm. Ba- it's called Twentieth Century Boy. It's about. You have changed a lot since I met you. Have I? Yeah. Cool. You've man. become a. You've become much more of a human. Oh really? Yeah. In like what a way? complete person. In what way? In I like this. Yeah, um, yeah. I never had the courage to say that I like those things. Yeah. Now I do, because I don't really care. I, I love those things about me. That's good. So do you, don't you, buddy? <laughs> uh, <yeah>. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, yeah. if, if someone was like, what's your favourite thing about Mike? I wouldn't say, oh, well, I love that he likes Blink-182. <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's my favourite thing. Yeah, but you know what I mean. You know what I really love? When he brings Super Smash Bros. on the Switch into radio... <laughs> Challenges everyone to play and doesn't teach anyone the controls and then beats us and then goes, You suck, man. You're fucking shit. I love that. You should know the controls. Why would I know the controls? I've never played it. It The first time I played it was when I played you and you were like, You suck, man. Why are you so bad? Well, I'll teach you, teach me deadlifts. I'll teach you smash. All right. Cool. Does Wario still fart? Yeah, Wario's down B is fart. Good. But anyway, the podcast is about like trying to reconnect with my past, discover who I really am. I uh, connect with pop culture, explore my obsession with pop culture and understanding my mental health in relation to my obsession with pop culture. That's yep. kind of the gist of it. I don't know. Go check it out. You might like it. You might not. How does your podcast start? Did you know like, mine starts with boys and girls? Uh, it starts with welcome to 20th century boy. My name's Radio Mike and this is the inside of my mind. I like so, that. This is the inside of my mind. I thought it was just going to be welcome to the podcast and I was hating it. But then hey guys, welcome, welcome to the inside to of my mind. Podcast, I like mate. that. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. And that's like kind of a... Sound uh, effects? There's a few sound effects. Ooh. I mean, so, because you can actually... You, you, you're trained in like radio, so you can do a lot of sound effects and shit. Are you going to incorporate a bit of the radio back? Because I started this before yeah. I had anything. So, I mean, that's why this podcast... I, sucks I love this podcast man I think it's great don't be so hard on yourself You're oh no that's so why I love yourself. the podcast because oh, it, it sucks. sucks yeah right and I'm not trying to do anything other than be funny yeah and tell Lego man hand job jokes <laughs> um uh um, um 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 what was your question are you gonna incorporate yeah. like radio so, well, production know, elements man. into like, it I've never done a podcast like I've done radio shows that well, you produce podcasts. fucking Will Anderson's podcast, which is yeah, like, like the I've, biggest podcast in Australia, isn't it? Yeah, I've d- I also work on the Hamish and Andy podcast, which Humble is also brag. up there. Uh, they're both they're two very good podcasts. You should check them out. Also, Luke and Lewis podcast is a good one too. You don't um, do that anymore. That's Keelan's job. Kilo, the big K, bloody taking all the jobs. He comes here and takes all the jobs. Well, he is he is part Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> you know his, his middle name is actually Sanchez? Nah. It is. I don't believe it's that. It's Keelan Sanchez. Keelan, bring your driver's license here immediately. Is it? He doesn't is drive. It? He rides a donkey. You have some form of ID How have you on not you? noticed that Keelan's part Mexican? Do you have ID on you? His okay, I middle don't name believe. is Sanchez. I don't believe that. You don't know that? I don't think... Everyone it's... knows that. No, isn't it Ferrari? No, that's his oh. last name. Your last name's Brown. No, it's not. It's Keelan Sanchez Ferrari Brown. Nah. Can we say your so full name Mexi- on the podcast? So we have to cut that so out. So he's Mexican, Italian. We can and say Australian. it all. Yeah, okay. He's a Mexican, Italian, Australian. And what's your home address? <laughs> um, what was I talking about? My podcast, something about. Oh, Congratulations, radio, radio. you've started a podcast! <laughs> I saw you grab that popper a while ago and like try and hide it by your leg. Congratulations! <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, so go check it out. Um, yeah, there's a, like, yeah, radio is all I know. I love radio. I'm super into it. The first podcast is kind of a background of actually how I got into radio and. Are you on calling your yourself show. Radio Mike on your podcast? Yeah, you man. It's my good. stage name. That's good. Thanks, man. Did um, you think when you started working with us that yeah. you'd turn into this? Meme and then into no, your own personality. No, because I wanted to be Sideshow Mike, and I still do. That's right. He's, <laughs> he originally picked his own nickname to be Sideshow Mike, you and we hear, shit on him for it. I detail. I tell all these stories in detail in the first episode of the podcast. It tells my whole story of finishing high school and to where I am now. Yeah. Thanks to so, us. So you can hear all of that. Thanks, oh, thanks to us. Thanks to a few people. I, th- I thank but everyone But mainly to us for the radio mic thing and yeah, all the Instagram I mean, followers. And, yeah, yeah. No, and that's definitely coming on true. here and... And yeah, uh, the being promo. a personality, like really, you we, you owe us ten percent. Yeah, probably of every of, of any revenue profits. from this moment. Okay, 
Not profit, revenue. What's revenue? Revenues revenue profit before minus... profit. Oh, really? Yeah, so if you so if you spent $100 ex- to make $100, expenses. you owe me 10 bucks. <laughs> okay. Good. Sure, man. Um, so, yeah, go listen. You might like it. Lewis loves it. He gave it a I haven't heard review. it yet, cunt. Sorry, man. I thought you might have listened. You haven't? Have you even recorded it yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Um, I, there's like Lewis, I talk about Luke and Lewis, I talk about what they're like off air, what they're like in real life, the real stories, like the real stuff that you won't hear anywhere else, so it's a great listen. That's funny, because I talk about all your Tinder tales on this podcast all the time. Have you? Yeah, heaps, man. Ah, oh, cool, man. No, like, I, I say good things about you, though, man. That's, oh, I don't, oh, I don't do that. Ah, damn. No, I haven't told you fucking Tinder tales, I know how, damn. I know how protective you are of them. You should start a second podcast called, on Patreon, called Tinder Tales. People pay money for that shit. I'm not on Tinder anymore. Again? Yeah. When did you delete it? Like, a couple months ago. Oh, really? So this is, because every time you say you delete Tinder, I'm like, three weeks. No. Nah. But you've not had it for a few months now. No. Nah. I don't like it anymore. Why not? I've grown up. You've grown up? Yeah. You're a big man now. Different man. Looking for a house and kids and a mortgage? Pretty a wife? Much, yeah. yeah. Can I plug my other thing? Can your mortgage? Talk, can we talk about my other thing? Oh, your band? My band. Can I just say? Yes. Okay, no, tell them, tell them about your band and no, then I'll say what I'm going to say. Well, what are you I'm going to say, say something about the band, but it needs you, you need to say, you started a band with Jack Post, yes. who is the button pusher on the Hamish and Andy show. Yes. Does that not strike you as fucking weird? I mean, I no, love Jack. No. I love Jack. I love you. But I you think this me. is... No. I love Jack. <laughs> I'm desperately in love with Jack Post. And you're all right. Okay. How old are you? I am 24 years old. How old's Jack? I think he's 30... He'll be 31 or 32 this year. When has a band ever started with a 31 year old married dude with a house yeah and a 24 year old kind of employed guy yeah it's a good single question dude. so don't what- you think that's such a weird mix for it and it's yeah, also no, a duo right. band you're right it is so oh we have we potentially have a drama a live <laughs> drama but i won't I'll, it's not confirmed so i'm not going to say that but what happened was is a live drama just for when you perform yeah so, but he's not part of not the band. Not a studio drama, no. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Keep it, keep that money. So, Jack... You don't want to split <laughs> too many ways. So, Jacko and I met on Hamish and Andy. You call him Jacko now? Sometimes, yeah. Yeah? You don't call him Posty? Sometimes I do. Oh, so, good. Posty and I met on Hamish and Andy, <laughs> and, like, we, we just became mates through that. Through you work. just were like, oh, do, do your radio hosts bully you on <laughs> yeah, air was, every day as well? kind of like that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a bit like that. You're just like part of the fucking battered wives club. Yeah, and Jack were like we became mates and we like were into the same music. Like we both like punk music growing up and that kind of thing. And then Jack and I pop uh, punk. What happened was you like pop punk. Yeah, pop punk. I did this. No, I, I like the Ramones. I like um like the Clash, like, like the old sex school pistols? punk. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Anarchy in the in the UK. Ooh. Wait, is it Anarchy in the UK or Anarchy Ooh. in the USA? I guess I don't really like him as much as I'm trying to mm. put across that I do. But anyway, um, we I did this cat dog cover on Instagram, Radio Dot Mike Block it. Uh, and then I'm glad um, you told him to block it. And then no one follow him on Instagram. He's gotten way too many fucking followers out of us. And then Jack and I did this um cover of it and then jack was like oh like i want to do this band. that's so fucking weird you can't just say that i did a cover of a cat dog song <laughs> yeah and then my mate liked it so much that me and him met up to play it together well we didn't meet up we just did it after work at after hamish and andy so us. weird yeah and then what are you doing tonight oh nothing do you want to do cat dog? do cat dog again <laughs> but with yeah. me yeah really weird and then yeah, we just decided... Jack was like, let's do this band and we had a brainstorm of ideas and what we wanted it to be. So, like, it's kind of mysterious, but it's a comedy band. Yeah, like, so you're making funny music? Or? Yeah, it's, like, it's funny music, but it's not, like, set-up punchline comedy. Funny it's music like, from the heart. Yeah, it's from the heart. We've yeah. we've done three demos so far. Can you tell um, us what one song's about? I haven't heard any of this. I'm so uh, interested with this. Okay, okay. Uh, I wrote... The, the one I wrote... Uh, we, is a song well Well, the thing about Jack is he's an amazing musician right he can yeah. just spit out riffs and like compose stuff I can only really write lyrics um, but I wrote this song about when I was in Japan I wrote this song about Instagram 
um, yeah. which might be the first single. Uh, and Jack then sort of, I had an idea of how I wanted it to sound. And then Jack kind of just played this riff and mm. it was like exactly what, how I imagined it. Yeah. Um, and it's like this, it, it's kind of like this big kind of pop punk kind of vibe, almost like, almost like five sauce kind of vibe. Yeah. Like, Cause it, like the genres of the music are all kind of different. We're not like a, like just going to do like a, a punk album or like a, a rock album. It's kind of like, it's more about them being funny in concept. Yeah. Right. Um, so yeah, there's one that's a rap, uh, and then there's a one rap. You're coming yeah. in my lane. Do you rap? Oh yeah, you do all raps all the time. Yeah, yeah. Um, but we're working with a producer who's produced a lot of TV comedy, uh, music TV comedy. Yeah. So he's really experienced, and he's got a, an a, an amazing studio. His name's Yuri. Um, so we're like, yeah, yeah. we're. It, it's really fun. Really, Pretty really big fun. deal. It's a, oh, it's not a massive deal. But Is there a goal for it? Or are you just having fun? No, it's mainly for fun. We'd love to like we're gonna put out an EP hopefully, yeah, and then do a hopefully do live gigs. That's funny. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, but like, yeah, it's great. Jack's just smashing songs out. Um, on so the so he's red. working harder than you. Yeah, he's working really hard. Yeah. He he he's super into it. But he's doing his Brecky show on Gold as does, well. Does he know that? The, that your band still has to pay Luke and Lewis 10%? No. You should tell him about that. Okay. And it's revenue. But it's is that profit. out of my cut or out of the entire band's cut? Anything that you're involved with, it's just, yeah. Okay, right. Because that's revenue. So if I go back and work at the bottle shop, yeah, I still have to 10% uh, of my paycheck. If anyone, here's the thing, if you work at the bottle shop, if anyone recognises you, <laughs> 10% of that shift. The whole shift? The shift, yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. That's insane. That's a lot. Well, it's just, that's the business, man. Yeah, buddy boy. If you want to, if you want to, you know. Yeah. I mean, you can say no, and I just never release this. That's fine. No, no, that's fine, man. I, I completely understand. So yeah. I'm gonna do it. Like, yeah. I, I would not do it. That's good. Because that'd be. Sh- Did you know what happened shit. to the last guy? Who what, did? Who was that? Oh. Raheem. No. Do you hear about that? Um, that body that got found in the river. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Didn't pay his ten percent. Jeez, that sucks. Yeah. That's awful. I know. Um, his mother e- was devastated. Are you excited about the, the Are you excited about the band? Yeah, man. I mean, if if you guys are successful, I'll make heaps of money. <laughs> <laughs> you know, ten percent of a million. It's like hundred grand. It's pretty good. No, plus no. plus merch and like live live ticketing. Yeah. If you guys sell a lot of tickets, you know, I'll make quite a bit. Of Quite a bit of cash. But are so. you excited about like creatively the music? Like, do you are you excited to hear the music? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. yeah, I, yeah. No, it sounds it sounds cool. It sounds funny. Yeah, it's cool, man. I, I think that's I think that's a funny idea. But we've got to do like music videos as well, which is the hard part. Yeah, like you should actually tripod Todd does uh, music videos. The yeah. old camera guy for the show. Yeah, that'd be good. He's he's pretty good. He's I think he's done ones. some good ones. Yeah, I'll I'll chat to him about it. Anyway, it's, it's time for miscellaneous bit at the end, Mike. Ooh, how long have we been going for? 57 oh. minutes. Bloody 57. Um, so, miscellaneous bit at the end, if you guys don't know, is a part of the podcast where I answer questions sent in by uh, listeners. <laughs> so, if you'd like some life advice or you want something answered, send an email to can we, uh, sorry, can, oh, sorry, podcast at loosebeers.com. Can we just, before we do this, can you tell the... Uh, have you ever told the driver wave on the podcast? Can oh, you tell me? This sucks. So, <laughs> so we, our show is plagued. Absolutely plagued by shit jokes, shit memes, stuff that's so unfunny that it's fucking incredibly hilarious. Like Inside 50? Oh, Inside 50 sucks. Can I tell Inside 50? Yeah, tell Inside so 50 in, and then I'll do the drive away. Inside 50 is this like shit... <laughs> nice. Inside 50 is this shit meme where like once there was like a, a mini footy in, yeah. in the studio and I just grabbed it and was like... Just out of nowhere, I'm just like, oh, I'm playing. No, no, you don't do that. You do oh. it way louder. Yeah, but I don't want to do it that loud. Take the microphone away from okay. your face and do just it like, properly. Like and this, by the way, this is while we're planning the show. Yeah. Sometimes while we're in between songs. Sometimes when it's we've got 30 seconds <laughs> to go live on radio, me and Luke yeah. go, oh, what are we talking about? Going over our notes. And then Mike just interrupts with this. Oh, he's bloody James Hurd. He's going for the last goal of the grand finals. Kick the inside 50 years ago. And he wins the grand final. And then, so, he, and like, then he kicks and a then tiny he, football then, at us. And then, and then it slowly just any round object, like a scrunched up piece of paper or just anything you see that you can pick up and kick, you just grab it. 
and you throw it at someone and go inside fifty, and then they have to like sh- kick the ball. And well, go for you it. know, it's it's the final point of the game. It's it's the game winner, <laughs> it's the so final, it's pretty important. And then you just go, oh, why the balls won the grand final? And then you, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty funny. Sorry, man. Now do drive a wave because uh, so better. drive a wave is uh, is more of a silent meme because uh, we get in trouble from the from our producer for doing the screaming memes. <laughs> So while we're planning a meet, while we're planning a show, we'll sit around the table and I'll just very subtly make wait wait for Mike to look at me and then as as if I were driving a car or thanking someone for stopping while I can pull in, I just give him the one finger, the drive away from the raise of the eyebrow, incredibly silently and subtly, and it's so fast <laughs> that only Mike sees this. He will start pissing himself. I'll immediately look away and everyone will look at Mike like an idiot and be like, why the fuck are you laughing? Can you shut up and focus? But in reality, really it was funny. me the whole time. Yeah, it's so funny. All right, sorry for that detour from miscellaneous. That's thing right, man. Anything to get us away from this part shit of the podcast. Segment. <laughs> All right, uh, we've got an email in I'm from... not going to lie. I've got some fucking shit emails this week. Did you? Well, I had to do... I've done like three podcasts this week, so I've run out of all good ones. Um... All right. All right. Sorry, I'm just reading my emails while you, um, uh, you know, just chilling out. Hey, guys. How are you? Lewis is just reading his I don't emails. know if this I'm one's good, but I'm going to read it. All right, let's do it. My best mate seems to hate me because I'm friends with his girlfriend. Interesting. G'day, Professor Lewis. Greg again. I think this is an update Greg. email. Hopefully, you'll be able to read this. I was drunk when I wrote the last email. Cool, dude. A little backstory on the situation. I moved to a new school to finish my studies and I found a group with 20 people in it. Who's friends with 20 people? (laughs) My best mate... I've struggled with three. My best mate, we'll call him Paul, has been friends, friends with me since we were in primary school. One month ago, he stopped talking to me and everyone else in the group to talk with his girlfriend, Brenda. What is she, 300 kilos? Who's called Brenda and not obese? I've been friends with her ever since I moved to the new school. You know, if you're about to have a, if you, if you, if your, if your wife gives birth to a big fat chick, you call her Brenda. Why? Have you ever seen a Brenda that's got a six pack? <laughs> nah. You've seen Brenda with like a six pack of rolls. I'm sure there's a, there's someone called Brenda who's fit. Uh, no, I'll go on Instagram right now and um, search right. Brenda. I'll I'm bet I'll find a fatty. I'm gonna Brenda. Find this. I reckon it'll only be a skinny Brenda. I've seen a lot of Brendans, but I not many Brendas. You're seeing a lot of Brendans? Hang on, Brenda. Yeah, you see, Dude, because... The, the picture for Brenda on Wikipedia is a skinny girl. You're so namist. Namist? Yeah, yeah I am, actually. You discriminate every time by you, name. I'm, honestly, on Instagram, though, every time you search a girl's name, a hundred chicks come up with, like, tan and six-pack, but I'm only seeing Brendas. What about Brenda Lee? Iconic I only sing Brendan's. Icon- I say Brendan Favola. Brenda Lee, iconic rock and roll singer. She's not... She doesn't count. How come she doesn't count? Because she existed before Maccas, dude. What do you mean? Oh, right. Look at her. It's like 1920s. There's okay. no... Okay. How about Brenda... Brenda Villa, a Mexican-American polo player? I can't even... Uh, she's pretty broad. Yeah, she's kind of jacked. definitely not obese. She doesn't have a six... No, she's not obese. Yeah. So you're wrong, man. Sorry, man. I think we should. No, I think I'm right because I can't find any Instagram models called Brenda. (laughs) So that means that there's a bunch of fat chicks out there with no Instagrams because they know. (laughs) (laughs) What am I saying? Oh yeah, this email. email Oh yeah, I forgot. (laughs) Trying to prove my theory that all Brendas are fat. Um, One night, while I'm crying myself to sleep. I, I, f- I fucking hate when people try to be funny in emails. I know you weren't doing that, dude. Just say one night. One night when I'm crying myself to sleep. Oh, you right. weren't doing that. One night, I get a text from Paul telling me to stop hitting on Brenda. What were you, giving her cupcakes? I was, con- <laughs> I was confused and I replied, I'm not sure what you're talking about. I didn't get a reply from him. All I know was that Brenda yelled at him. My other friend also got the same text from Paul, but we didn't know what he meant. A week after he sent the first text, I received another one from him saying, if you don't leave her alone, I'll get the school involved. Ooh, very jealous. At this point, I was pissed off and replied saying, I haven't done anything. If you feel that I have, feel free to talk to me in person. I haven't heard from him since. I don't know what he meant or what to do. Hope this made sense. Have a shit one. What's this guy's name? Uh, 
Greg. Greg. I think, uh, Greg, Brenda's just got a very jealous boyfriend. Yeah. I think for him to text two guys is fucking weird. Yeah, I think you, Greg, you were very mature in that situation by saying, "Hey, man, I haven't done anything, and you should talk and to me in person." Also, who would hit on a girl called Brenda? <laughs> I have no comment to make about that. Have you met a hot Brenda? No, no but I'm not. On no, the, you I've haven't. Never met you a, have... I've never met a Brenda. I don't know anyone. But called Brenda. when you think Brenda, <laughs> the type of woman that comes to mind is. <laughs> I honestly don't know because I like if I think. If I meet a Lewis, if I hear yeah. the name Lewis, I think of you, right? Yeah. So I haven't met a Brenda, so I don't, I don't think of it. I have no reference point, right? Brenda's on like the same tier of like Gloria. She's. Fat. I think Gloria's a beautiful name. Gloria yeah. is like the f- the f- the name version of Glory. Yeah. I love the name Gloria. Yeah, but it's a nice name. But I'm telling you, every chick called Gloria is fat. <laughs> every chick called Brenda's <laughs> obese. <laughs> it's like if you call it like a like is a this dude. Based on? A dude... What's a dude... Obese dude's name? Like Augustus <laughs> Fat Cunt. <laughs> you know Like he's... Augustus Gloop. Yeah. But you only think that because of Augustus Gloop. Or right? was Augustus was no... always a fat cunt's name and that's no. why Augustus Gloop no. became... No, Augustus, Augustus is literally f- like synonymous with that character. Like, right? Okay. Name any other Augustus. Have you ever met a fat girl called Diamond? I've never met anyone called Diamond. Ah, hasn't been to the strippers much. <laughs> I've actually never been to the strippers. I really want to go. Either. I've never not, been. Not, I want to go not to see titties. I want to go for the story because I know I'll come back with a banger. Really? Yeah. I just have no interest in going. Well, that's how I write all my shit. I go and do shit that I wouldn't, wouldn't normally do, yeah. do and then I complain about oh, it. You I'm know like, what? oh, I fucking hated this. Have even you? though I knew I was going to hate it. Have you been to Bounce? That'd be a sight to see. Yeah, Bounce. Dude, you fucked. should go to Bounce. I almost You'd got a job hilarious. at Bounce once. Really? I tried to apply, yeah. Why? So you almost got a job because you tried to apply. Oh, I did apply. Right. I mean, and I got an interview. I oh. nailed the interview, I thought. I didn't get the job. Uh, what was it for? Just like floor? It was for sales. Like at the checkout? No, like on the phone. Like, hey, I'm calling from Bounce. You want to Bounce? <laughs> <laughs> 50 oh, so- bucks. Sorry, man. Uh, can't talk long. I got to Bounce. <laughs> that would have been my catch raise. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, now that we're doing bounce jokes, it's time to end the podcast. Thanks no, for coming no, wait, on. Not yet. Hang on, hang on. I just want to end the podcast by saying Inside 50! Make sure you check out 23rd Century Girl. 20th Century 21st Boy. 21st Century non- Gender 20th Non-Binary. 20th Century Boy. Uh, you can read all about it on radio.mike Instagram. 20th Century Boy Block that Boy account, but listen podcast. to the podcast. Are you going to have me on there? Yeah, I'll have you on there. Good. In fact, I'm just going to copy and paste this. Mm-hmm. Put it on my podcast feed. Really? Because I've said cunt in this heat. Yeah, I'm not going to. You know what my favorite thing about... I, st- I did an Instagram story today and I was like, Hey, cunts, Radio Mike's coming on the podcast. And you put that on your story, but with a giant caption over the top of my face that said, Caution, extreme language. Yes, I don't like that. And that's I think much. that really, that really uh, points out a- our friendship. I say cunt and you go, Don't say cunt. If and you then come I say on my it podcast, again. You can't say it. But if you do, I will bleep it. You just it. say can't? You can't. You can't. You don't call me a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> if you come on, yeah. you cannot say the C word. Okay. But if you do, I'll just bleep it. So I can say it. No. But if I do say it, there'll be more work for you. I'll censor it. You give me a loophole. No, I don't want you to say it. You will be on. That's the end of the podcast. See hey, you later, cunt. Hey, inside fi- do inside 50s. Have a shit one. Bye. Check out his podcast. My name. Don't. You fucked it, bro.